hello everyone welcome again to my channel in my previous video we have seen how can we perform mathematical operation on any field value using summary variables today we are going to cover another useful feature of salesforce cpq which is cpq favorites so quickly sharing the agenda today we are going to learn what is cpq favorite flexibility with cpq favorite things to know about cpq favorite a demo of the same so what is cpq favorite so cpq favorites are the functionality which can help sales rep reuse their configuration okay so a sales rep can store their favorite bundle configuration and code groups and then later they can use the same on the future codes cpq favorites can be used where most businesses requires the same set of products again and again okay coming to the flexibility so a sales rep can anytime perform following things on a cpq favorite so they can save the favorites okay save save the lines they can add from the favorite so adding a, a saved favorite to the quote future quote you can edit the favorite you can just change the descriptions and other things from the favorite or for the favorite you can delete an existing favorite if not needed and the most powerful thing is you can share the favorite as well so you can share your uh, favorite configuration with other sales rep as well using this cpq favorite functionality now things to know uh, salesforce cpq only loads products and bundle configuration that got saved in the favorite to the cart that means it doesn't consider setting up quantity discount etc on the new code line based on the existing favorite so let's say you have uh, have several lines on the quote you have updated the quantity you have provided the discount okay and you saved them as favorite if you are loading that same favorite to the future quote it will not consider setting up the quantities from favorite it will take quantity as 1 and provide discount as 0 okay it doesn't remember the twin fields as well however it copies the data from product to code line so those data will got saved uh, dot copied but the existing twin field data that got saved into uh, favorites will not get copied okay on the new code line now in case of saving only bundle progress favorite we can't edit the saved favorite okay so that's a limitation okay now let's review the same okay so i am on the code page i'm um, cart detail page I'll click on add product. I'll add couple of products to the cart, and I'll click save. Will I land on cart? And you see this small icon over here that is for adding a favorite. So now if I add this, I'll make some name and will save it. Then it will create a favorite with a single line. Okay, it won't create with the multiple line. So now let's say you want to add multiple products to cart. or multiple products to favorites what you can do is you can just group this items let me select this and group this so that has created a group okay and i'm creating a favorite i can create a favorite group using this icon as well on the group level but before that i am making a change of the quantity i am updating a quantity to 2 for laser printer 3 for laptop and i am applying 10% discount you can see the change into our uh, pricing as well based on the discount and quantity now i'll mark this as let me change the group to uh, abc cop config or favorite i'll check this star icon and i'll make it abc corporation favorite i'll make i'll name this as this one okay so it got saved okay and we can see this uh, icon over here it got changed and if we click on this again it will remove from the it will be removed from the favorite so favorite will be deleted okay now let me ungroup this and delete this line now how can we add the favorite okay so if we click over here we can see this icon over here using which we can add the favorites this was the earlier group that i created but if i want to delete it let's say i don't need it so i can just check this checkbox and click delete which will remove that particular favorite i'll show you the other way you can add favorite is 
you can come over here and click on this add favorite screen or add favorite button which will take you to the favorite lookups you select this and you click on select that will add the lines to your code consider this is a future code that you have added but you see the quantities are one because as i mentioned in the ppt as well it will not consider setting up the quantity from favorite rather it will put the default quantity and you cannot uh, we are not seeing the discounts as well so it doesn't consider now the other thing is uh, which we saw is we can share the favorite as well so i can select this i can share uh, with whomever you want to share it you can just provide the name provide the description and click share uh, it will be shared with them and they'll be able to see those favorites over here on their screen when they come to uh, add favorite screen okay so this is the use of cpq favorite which can be very useful for sales rep okay for creating their future code and sharing their favorite uh, thanks for watching my video if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.